what's up with all these addictions that we have? What's up? One author I was reading, it's, it's kind of simple. It's, see, our brain is literally an addiction maker. Our brain is incredibly focused on attachment. Everyone say attachment. You were made for attachment. It's this, the same part of the brain that gets a baby attached to its mama before it takes its first breath is literally responsible for our addictions. One author uses, to help us understand this, I really like it, uses the term beeps. Behaviors, events, experiences, people, and substances. You can put that up there on the screen just to help people. Behaviors, experiences, events, people, substances that we attach to, these are things we will attach to instead of attaching to God and instead of attaching to people. I'm just gonna give you one of my theories on this. It is my opinion that you are supposed to unplug from everything one day a week so that your soul remembers you were made to attach to him. You were made to attach to us. We were made to attach to each other. You were made to have the phone turned off. And when your kid says, Daddy, can we talk? You're not looking at scores. You're looking in their eyes because of the, of the NFL draft, another score, the NBA playoffs are not nearly as worth attaching to as the soul of your child. But how many times does someone that we adore talk to us, we do not remember what they said because we're so attached to these, these other things. See, beeps or addictions are the brain's way of trying to get what it needs because our souls are made to attach. We're made to be attached to things. First things infants do when they are born is they start attaching to their caregivers. We develop attachments to our parents and attachments to our grandparents and attachments to our siblings and attachments to our friends and ultimately attachments to our, our spouse. When everything is going like God designed, our brain releases dopamine. It releases, there's chemicals that our brain literally releases that when a child and a mother, they're, like your, your body needs this. There's this, like even, it's, it's like the pleasure and attachment chemicals that God gave us. But here's the catch. This is what we all need to understand. We, when we are whole, when we're joyful, when we're alive, that's when we're going to be attached to people. But when the attachments to God and attachments to other people are not happening, this is where the beeps come in. The beeps kick in where they kind of show up like, I'll be your hero. You need some attachment. You're not getting it from your spouse. Oh, I'll give it to you from another place. Oh, you, you need attachments. You're not getting it from your family. You're not getting it from God. You're not getting it. And so what the beeps do is there are behaviors like being in control. There's, there, there are events. There are, there are substances. And by the way, it's not just like cocaine and marijuana. There's substances like carbs and sugar and caffeine. There's other substances that we can have as well. There's, there's uh, experiences like sex. And what we will do is we will use these other things to give our brains the feeling, that thing that we need, that pleasure and attachment that we want. In the presence of the Lord, the Bible says, there is fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. But when you do not go into his presence... And when we do not come into each other's presence, we will go into some other presence in some other dark place. Sabbath, in my opinion, is one of God's genius creations to say, I'm going to make you turn off your phone. I'm going to make you attached to each other. I'm going to make you attached to me. That dopamine hit that you're looking for. Do you understand that what Satan does is he goes and he twists the things that God has given us that are good and turned them into something else. Sabbath is one of the ways that addictive creatures like us say, you know what, world, you won't addict me. Porn you won't addict me. Drugs, you're not going to addict me. Illicit places, you're not going to addict me. I'm going to go attach myself to Jesus. I'm going to go attach myself to my family. I'm going to attach myself to my friends. I'm going to attach myself to the people of God. And then we've got something to show a world that does not know where it's going. In Genesis, we find out that God rested and he shows us, this is your order. You are, you are wired to go for six days and on the seventh you rest. You may have the greatest vehicle in the world. If you don't change the oil, the car is going to die. It could be a million-dollar vehicle. If you do not change the oil, the thing's going to die. It's not just your creation, though. It's your liberation. Pharaoh's system was a system where the people of Israel were enslaved. And it was a system of endless production, where endless productivity was legitimized to serve the gods that the Egyptians worshipped. Slaves were forever interruptible. Even when they went home, they were interrupted. Even when they went home, they could be called. Even when they, There was never a time when you were not on call. 
And so God says, I want you to remember the Sabbath day, keep it up. Remember that you were slaves. And the sadness right now is that now we are not in slavery. We've been kidnapped or we've been put into slavery by Egyptians or taskmasters in a transatlantic slave trade. We now enslave ourselves. Every moment of our lives is now subject to instant interruptions on these phones, for example. It's, it's odd how obsessed we are. With, oh, I, I, I need to stay available because I could be, it's like we have this fear of missing out like, I, like, like, a, like an addict to our phones. I, I, I can't miss any, I couldn't miss anything even for 30, I've asked people, could you turn your phone off for 30 minutes to pray? Oh, I could never do that. What if, some, what if an emergency happened? You sound like a slave. We are enslaved and addicted to the jolts of, uh, they tell us that our phones give us little dopamine hits, like, like, <laughs> little dopamine hits that we get from our phones. Dopamine hits delivered by the likes in the hearts in the views. And we so desperately want people's approval that we've forgotten that the only opinion in the universe that matters is the one that gave it to you on the cross. 